most interesting part about Tony Katz, though. He's a tea party organizer in Los Angeles, California. How does that work? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Katz. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, give yourselves a hand. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I got lucky enough to be under here. Will this thing hold? Yeah. Can I move this thing? Do I have to be behind the podium? I got people out in the rain. I got to be behind the podium. Yeah, you got to be behind the podium. Much better. Hello, how are you? Welcome, Iowa. Oh, oh, how did you get a Jewish kid born in Brooklyn to show up in this? <laughs> You know, the last time I had the chance to speak on stage where Governor Taylor was speaking, it was Madison, Wisconsin, on that day. It snowed that day. It's raining today. You don't think Sarah Palin can win the presidency? She can change the weather. It's a pleasure to be here from Los Angeles. Greetings from all of those associated with the Tea Party in Los Angeles. Yes, there is a Tea Party in Los Angeles. Have no fear, Iowa. You are not alone. Okay. But I'm coming for you today. Certainly, I'm curious to hear what the governor is going to say, as are all of you, as is the entire nation. Yeah. They sit through the rain to see what Sarah Palin has to say. Amen. They don't go to see what Barack Obama has to say, ever. You can't get NASCAR drivers to show up to the White House. Because within Sarah Palin, within the Tea Party, there's a value that immediately connects. It is the value of something we call the four basics, the Constitution, capitalism, fiscal responsibility, and smaller government.
that we own quite literally the political and cultural debate in America. Allow me to prove this to you. And allow me to prove this to you. The 2010 elections were our victory, not the victory of the Republican Party. That is heresy in some corners, ladies and gentlemen. But its reality is the same, because it is the Tea Party that pushed forth the agenda that politics as usual is over. That the value cannot be based on the thesis of, well, that's the way it's done. To hell with that's the way it's done. We want it done our way. And there is no one running in this 2012 election who can even dream of not being involved, not getting the help, not getting the support of We the Tea Party. You simply cannot get elected to the United States of America without us. And it's not because of money, and it's not because of access to the press. You see a lot of conservatives out there in the press, don't you? We, we own all the television stations. We, we own all the news. We've got Simon. We, that's, by the way, the best Iowa accent I ever heard on Simon. <laughs> but part two is this cultural conversation. That the Tea Party has quite literally changed the culture in the United States of America. We have created the conversation that is necessary to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. We recognize that those aren't words, those are actions. Yeah! And every day we wake up to ensure that we secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Yeah. That it involves our civic responsibility and opportunity to be engaged yeah. in how the nation gets shaped. This is not an anomaly. This is the norm. Yeah. But there was a commercial for God. And in this commercial, you have the red coat coming out through brush just like that. They're in line. They're in two lines. They're moving forward. All of a sudden, from out there comes a scout, a young kid, can't be older than 15 years old, running through, and he's speaking to the commander. That's where they are. That's where the American forces are. That's where the Yanks are. And the commander gives the order, and the first row of redcoats gets down on one knee, pulls out their guns and aims. The second row, right on top. They're ready to go. They're ready to fight. They're ready to take on those Yankees, those rabble rabbles. A moment of silence happens, and what comes through the brush? A Dodge Challenger driving as fast as it can, an American flag sticking out the back, and who? And who's driving that car? George Washington. Things from a came through. Take a look at the skies and we're here and coming, but we may see another band of rain. And someone else who has broken through the political and cultural debate in America is Sarah Palin. Thank you. 